Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to part two of my video tutorial series on advanced mapping for Call of Duty. Now, these are going to be the tools and the fundamentals for uh, developing some ill custom zombies maps. So, uh, first thing you want to do is, um, if you haven't, watch my part one video that's going to show you how to get the mod tools. And on this video, we're going to be going over Script Placer. Now, Script Placer is a program that's going to set up the files so we can start developing a custom zombies map. You know, so first thing you want to do is go over to their website. You're going to want to go to ugx-mods.com. You know, once you get to their site, it's going to look like this. You know, you're going to go over to Modding Help. Go to Apps and Tools. And here it is, Script Placer 2.0.1 Beta. Now, the, depending on when you're watching this, a newer version might come out. It doesn't matter which version you download, as long as it's Script Placer. You know, you can use Mr. Hanky Script Placer. Uh, it's, it doesn't matter, you know. But for my video tutorial series, we're going to be using Script Placer. So click on that. It's going to present you with this. That's what it looks like. There's a red download file button. Click on that. Let it download. Hit open folder, that way it'll navigate to where the download is. And here it is. I actually downloaded it a few times. But that's what it looks like right here. Now right click on it, go to pin to start, or else you can go to pin to uh, actually send to desktop. You know, you just want to put it in a spot where you're going to be able to get to it, because this is a program you're going to be using a lot. So uh, me, I have mines on pin to start. That way when I click on my start menu, it shows up right here, UGX Script Placer 2.0. You know, click on that. It's going to open it. And there it is. This is a beautiful application. It really helps out a lot of uh, modders and um, people in the modding community or any map developer. You know, right now it's on simplistic mode. There's also advanced mode. It'll show you other features. Now, we're not going to get into these features right now. We will get into them later. But for right now, leave it on simplistic. It's going to look like this. Name your map. For this series, we're going to call it Uptown. Go over to Blank Map. Now, there's two other versions. There's Custom and there's Setup Map. We're not going to be doing that. We're going to be doing under Blank Map because uh, we're going to go through bit by bit you know, from scratch. So once that's done, you name the map. You click on blank map and you click on generate and it'll generate the map for you. Once you click on generate, it'll say all files generated successfully. All right. Let's go over to Radiant. Make sure the files are there. Open up Radiant. Click on file. Click on open. And there it is, Uptown. You're going to get two files. You're going to get Uptown and Uptown Patch. Now, this is just the file that's going to help this file run when you're um, actually compiling the map. So you just want to click on Uptown without anything else. Click Open. And there it is. Now, you know it loaded because it's going to give the location of where the file is. And it's going to say the name of the file, dot .map. And there you go. There you have it. Now, on the next video, we're going to start developing a map you know we've already gotten through the hard part now it's on to the good stuff so if you guys like the video um hit a like button and subscribe for uh, future content i'll see you guys in the next one on part three